Hi YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for checking in, hitting that subscribe, hitting that like. I'm sitting on my floor and angles are hard, so excuse that. I was trying to switch it up for my usual bed content. Today I am filming my favorite videos on YouTube to watch or TikTok, where, whatever you, wherever you watch. Clearly you're watching on YouTube, but I love it on TikTok too. And it is a tattoo tour, yeah. Don't fuck with this angle. Honestly, this is gonna work. So, hi. Thank you for coming back to watch another video of mine. Love y'all for that. Who's ready for a tattoo tour? I'm going to be doing the classic what I got first, pain tolerance, and if I like it. And I love all my tattoos, so that answers that. I've gone to the same tattoo artist since I started getting tats besides three tattoos, which include two flash, well, I guess four tattoos, but includes two flash, one that I got abroad in Greece, and then one that I got in Pittsburgh. So other than that, I'm loyal to my guy, Dan. Love him. My mom loves him. We go together. It's like a little tattoo tour, tattoo date. It's such a slay. All right, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna start with my first tattoos, which are on my hand. I never thought I would work an office job. Here I am working an office job, and that's why I got finger tattoos. So if you're gonna work in a field that is strict on tattoos, I would recommend you not getting them, or at least not yet until you kind of feel out the vibes, get into the work field that you wanna go into and just kind of see get the vibe check you know what i mean i can cover my tattoos with my rings but i only cover one of them because the other one i would need a mid ring on so yeah. my first tattoo is on my middle finger period Ugh, don't look at my nails i'm gonna just go like this first tattoo i got was this triangle at the top so i got that because it is a fire sign eventually i went back and got the bottom half which is the earth sign. And then if you flip it, it is air and water. So I have all four elements on my middle finger. So when I flip someone off, it is like, I'm flipping them off with all four elements and I'm really fucking pissed. So once I got it done a couple years later, maybe that same year, I saw Florence Welch's tattoo and I realized we have the same one. And I'm like, that's my bitch. <laughs> He just thinks I'm so silly. Anyways, it's my setup right now. I literally have my camera and my phone in his drawer with my camera on the little tripod and my phone with the flashlight on. He's probably like, mm -hmm, whatever I got myself into. So pain tolerance was very low because it was so quick. Um, the kicker is if you get touch-ups because finger tattoos do last. They last. Don't let anybody tell you that they don't. If they don't, it's because your artist sucks. There, I said it. I got this top triangle touched up when I got the second one done. As you can see, the second one is kind of bled a little bit, but I'm kind of down with it. So I would rate the pain probably a five out of 10 because for that like minute and a half that you're getting it done, you're like, that's literally my bone. Um, but other than that, it's fine. It's literally done so quick. And then touch ups are where it really sucks because you're just going over that same wound and opening it back up and your finger is gonna be a little bloody. I love my little triangles. I love the meaning behind it. I love that I have finger tattoos because I just feel cool. <laughs> and that was my first tattoo that I got. Uh, I don't really remember the order for all of them, to be honest, because once I started get getting tattoos with my mom when I was 19, I haven't stopped and now I'm 23 and I still have the itch. I still have the tattoo itch, it doesn't go away. I would be fully tatted if I was rich. <laughs> if I wasn't paying rent, I, all my rent money would be tattoos, so. That's that. I'm going just right along with my finger tattoos, cause I, like I said, I don't really remember the full order of all of them. I only remember the order of like the most recent. I have this little moon and i just love her it's really giving i have the elements and that's pretty dope to me i just i'm a moon bitch love a sun on my fingers too however the kind of the chart i've been looking at when it comes to signs and symbols i have a book which is where i get a lot of my inspiration from the sun symbol is just not hitting it's literally a circle with a dot in the middle and i'm like it's giving nipple like i don't think it really goes with the vibes but then again a, a regular sun also doesn't really go with the vibes the best option I would have because since I already have these two, three, 
I'm like, I could get more on the same hand. It really doesn't make a difference. I kind of want to do a sun somewhere else, like maybe here, like half in the lines, you know what I mean? Like a rising sun. Not that deep. I should just save all of my future plans for the end. But since I'm talking about my finger tats, it's on the dotted ones so. now. After that, I started my garden. I started with a flash and I hated it to the point where I tried to pick it off because I didn't have anything else there and it was just, to me, ugly. But now I love it because it goes so well. So I don't know how well you can see my little ladybug. For Friday the 13th, the tattoo shop I've been going to had, they used to do tattoos for $31 for flash and they had like 10 flash sheets. So you would go in there and like just scout. You couldn't see the flash beforehand. You'd just be in there and be like, what am I gonna get? Now it's one for $100, which makes sense because they were probably making dirt on Friday the 13th because they're doing way more tattoos. There's a line literally around the block and they're $31 or two for 62. And like, unless you're tipping good, it's just like a waste of their time. I can't be mad at them for not doing it anymore. When they did, bestie. I went and did Friday the 13th Flash with my roommate twice, as well as our friend Allie, twice actually. I have loved going with them. We just stand in line, we drink coffee. It's just great. But we went once in the summer my mom was standing outside hanging out with us and she fucking fainted. Traumatic. <laughs> the other time it was so cold. You're either layering or you're sweating. It's a fucking time. It's giving like waiting in line for a concert. I got that little ladybug as one of my two flashes that day. The other one is this sword. Those two tattoos individually were each $31. And originally it didn't have the snake in the sword. It was just a sword like in my skin. It's kind of like, it looked like like my skin was like the holster and I loved it. That was originally what I was going to get that day. I said, I'm getting a sword because I want to keep that thing on me. <laughs> and that I did and I love my sword. And then afterwards I went to my artist and I asked him to put a little snake in there and I'm just obsessed. I literally want more snake tattoos because they're just so cute. Ladybug, when it was just alone, sorry, there's a fly. I go to film a video, the flies appear. It looks like I live in a fucking dungeon. When I got my ladybug, I loved her and then I hated her. It was a real quick switch because I wasn't originally gonna get it. And then I was like, oh, I got the ladybug. And I was like, this is gonna be perfect for my garden. And then I was like, this is so ugly by itself. It's not, but like to me, I was like, this is horrible. It's like fraying or like, like melting into my skin of like spreading apart a little bit. And that's because when I got it and it was scabbing, I was trying to peel it off, trying to pick off my tattoo. Pain scale on that was two. It's in a really good spot. It's definitely a little bit tougher as you get closer to that bone, but needless to say, light work, very small. I don't have any colored tattoos, which usually when it goes back to the shading, because you've done the hard lines and then you shade over that scar that is forming, that shit hurts. So I don't have any color, not just because of that reason, but also because I like black and white tattoos. I like that it's gonna go with everything I wear. I know that sounds so weird. And I love colored tattoos on people, but for myself, I'm a black and white girly. Then for my ye old uh, sword, again, probably like a two or a three. Usually it hurts the most because I either dry shave that morning and then my legs are bleeding simply because mm -hmm. I just shaved my legs that morning or because they shave it there. Either way, I'm fucking dry shaving like a dumbass. Sometimes I'll get ready in the morning to go and I've forgotten to shave the part that I'm gonna get tattooed and I don't even use water. I'm talking razor skin. Don't be me. So yeah, very low pain scale, very good spot on your ankles. It's not gonna show unless you're wearing crop pants, obviously like shorts, but for that corporate life, for that job life, legs are very good to cover up. Tights, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's easier. When I went abroad, I just don't remember what I had done for tattoos and what I didn't. I know what I know, but what I don't know is where it gets fuzzy. So I don't remember if I finished any more of my leg when it comes to the flowers because I know that was next, but I don't remember if it was before or after my wrist. Got this. It is an olive branch. I am half Greek. My mom is 100% Greek. Both of her parents straight off the boat from Greece, baby. And I think about Paros Island in Greece every day of my life. And I just really wanted something to commemorate my time abroad. I traveled there by myself. 
I paid for it almost all by myself. It's just a very proud thing for me to have done and I just wanted to remember it and I am Greek so I didn't feel like a poser getting something like, like if I were to go to Ireland and then get like a fucking four leaf clover, I would be a poser because in, in my own head, I'd be a poser because I'm not Irish. Or at least if I'm Irish, it's like a sliver and it's not what I'm like proud of being. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm a Greek bitch. That's me. Pain scale again was probably a four, maybe a five, just because when you get closer to that, like, like the bone, thin skin, it's not like a very meaty area. This is like, I can't even like pull the skin. There's so little of it. There's a little fat around people's wrists for the most part. Yeah, it hurt just a little bit because of that, but I love it. It is probably remained one of my favorite tattoos on me. It definitely has like aged but I like how it's aged. Like it's not as fine line as it was when I got it, but I knew that because it's just very thin and like close together. It's not a big tattoo. So when you have smaller work, but it's fine line, it's gonna bleed together a little bit. Bleed together. That's what I'm thinking of bleeding. The ink is bleeding on my skin. Regardless of kind of how it healed, I love it nonetheless. And it just always brings me back to my travels abroad. Period. Moving right along, I'm gonna head back down to my leg. So either before or after I went to Greece, I got part of my leg tattooed around my ankle with all of these flowers. I drew them on myself and I found the meanings of each flower in the signs and symbols book that I keep referring to. I got that book at, I think Barnes and Noble for like 10 bucks. It was like on one of those like sale carts and it is one of the best impulse purchases I've ever made in my life. I use that book for all of my inspiration on anything art related and I've borrowed, like let my friends borrow it, let my friends th look through it, like it's just great. I went and I found flowers and I was like researching what they look like and like how I resonate with the meanings and I compiled them all together with my artist and we went to work. This was not all done in one session. Um, I think I started more with like a couple and then I went back in with more and I just kind of wanted like a garden going up my leg. I've wanted that since high school. I really wanted them to be green starting around my toes and like going wrapping around my whole foot and then everyone said you're gonna faint <laughs> because of the pain and I would agree and it definitely wouldn't have healed as good as these did because your foot's not gonna heal as good. I love them. I'm not gonna go sit here and name all the flowers because that's just a waste of my time but it's a little garden going up my ankle. Again the pain was definitely a little bit higher on these more like a six maybe a seven on some spots because again not a lot of meat around your ankles at least on my ankles and going down like towards the bones and like the fleshy part of your ankle, not it. Dry shaving before the tattoos, not it. So don't be me, but definitely get tattoos because this spot is sick because it's very like low key. Like people don't know I'm tatted around my ankles or my legs at all until I'm wearing a skirt or I'm wearing shorts or I have like crop pants on or whatever the case. And they're like, oh, word, you got a garden down there. And I'm like, yeah. I'm just obsessed with my little garden and I want it to keep growing, baby. And I just, I love them. Once I finished up with my, first my ladybug and then the flowers, I went on to more insects and I got a butterfly. It was definitely all the rage in like 2020, 2021. I don't remember what year I got it, but I'm a butterfly bitch. What can I say? I love them. I see them, I get excited. I got that as a flash as well. Uh, it was the one tattoo I got for Friday the 13th when they spiked their prices to just one tattoo for $100. And it was definitely worth it because I loved the artist I went to. It was the same shop, but a different artist than what I'm used to. And yeah, it was just really fun. It's just a good memory to have of like flash with your friends. And it was something that I knew I wanted. So it's perfect and it goes with my garden and it's just, I love it. Pain was probably like a four or five. Again, you get towards like bony, like when I hit my leg, I'm like, ow, because that's bone. That's when it gets a little painful and the shading definitely afterwards was like either like nothing or like totally horrible. I love it. It's one of the tattoos I see the most often and it just makes me smile. Finishing up with my ankle, I got a dragonfly for my mom because I wanted a dragonfly and my mom loves dragonflies and it just felt really fitting goes with my garden so well. 
I love it. So now I have fully wrapped around with flowers and I have three insects and I'm looking to add more. Something that I 100% want to do is get some more flowers and put my cat in there that just passed away because she loved sitting with flowers and like whenever I would bring home flowers to my mom on the dining room table she would jump up and lay under them and like have a little party by herself and I just think she should go sit in the garden forever. Moving on to my next angle, next to my sword, I got the Faces hand off of Mac Miller's mixtape Faces and it is the original hand, not the redrawn cover hand. I mean they might be the same but when he dropped Faces in 2012, this hand, it's just my favorite part of the album cover. I mean there's a lot of really good parts of that album cover, mixtape cover, whatever you want to call it. But that hand is just always like grabbing my attention. Faces is my favorite, favorite thing Mac Miller has ever dropped, will ever drop, just the best thing ever. And I needed him on me. I'm kind of pissed at myself of the placement. I wish I did it elsewhere and I was gonna do it elsewhere and then I just kind of froze and choked up at the studio and was like, right here is good. And I don't like the placement, but at the time impulsively, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do another wraparound kind of ankle sleeve on this side too. And I don't love that placement now, but since it is my favorite tattoo, probably one of my favorite tattoos, I really can't choose a favorite. It, um, it's just really special to me and I'm like, I don't give a fuck where it's placed. Like it's gonna be good. I'm gonna keep adding and it's gonna find its place even better. Like the longer I live, the more tattoos I get. So um, the pain scale was probably a three, honestly, it was very light. Again, it is single line work. Around the bone, towards the bottom, I was like, ooh, maybe up to like a five. Let me also preface that my pain scale level is probably a little different than other people's. Everyone's pain scale level is different than one another. I have gotten 11 piercings in my life and I've gotten a handful of tattoos and I just keep going back for more. I keep trying to find more things to get done to my body that don't include fucking surgery, so. Um, my pain scale is definitely a little bit different. I got my nipples pierced in high school when I turned on my 18th birthday. <laughs> and I actually ended up doing it again because one of them closed because I took it out. So my pain scale is a little different because I did that willingly. But I'm saying this is like a three or four and you guys are like have tattoos in the same spot, like the same design, not the same design, but like the same single line. And you're like, that was an eight fucking crazy bitch. Don't come for me. <laughs> I stub my toe, I'm going to the ER. I break a bone. I'm continuing on my day. You know what I mean? I just, I can't, I can't. So don't come for me. But again, pain scale for that was very low. Most of my tattoos are very low pain scale also because of the design and the style because I'm not getting all these crazy layers and crazy colors and shading and huge pieces. I mean, my second to most recent tattoo was the most painful because it is so big and that's okay. I like adding little pieces that add up to a big piece. I like, that's just my art style as an artist and also as a canvas. I should preference too, if you hate all my tattoos, shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear it in the comments. I don't wanna hear that I am botched or my tattoos are botched or I'm an idiot. I don't wanna hear it. Moving right along. I got two ta I usually get tattoos in batches. So if I go to a shop or I go to my guy at the shop, if I get more than one, it'll kinda be cheaper and it saves me from going again because I don't live near my artist anymore. It's like an hour north, so whenever I do go, I try and make it worth the wild, worth the drive, and it's cheaper because he usually combines and it's like, oh, you got two things? Like, let me drop that price rather than getting individual, which I did in the beginning and then I was like, pause, never again. I'm in my pajamas and they're clearly very sultry. I got a matching set of pajama top, bottom, and robe. Y'all have seen me in that robe. <laughs> it is my life. This tattoo right here on my, kind of almost a little below the crevice of my elbow, I got from my parents. I drew this back in high school and I was like, I'm gonna get this tattooed. I wanted it on my thigh at first and I'm glad where I put it now because it just, it fits so perfectly. And I got the wave for my mom and the mountain for my dad. And now my dad actually has this tattooed on him too, which is pretty cool, or twinning. It is definitely the most meaningful tattoo that I do have. I got my love from the beach, 
from my mom. I got the love of the mountains from my dad. It's just great. I drew it a single line when I was in high school and that's what I did as a tattoo. And this was a very painless tattoo. This placement and the single line, again, probably like it too. Quick and easy. I have a little mole too, so it kind of looks like the sun. It's just perfect. In that same session, I got... This is a funny story. I... Okay, before 2019 when Mac Miller dropped circles, I had this obsession with circles. They calmed me down. I just, I love circles. <laughs> and I wanted a circle on my wrists. And then I was like, that's stupid. So I wanted it behind my ear. Again, kind of stupid. I went to my artist and I said, I want a circle behind my ear. And I saw the sketch, like I saw the whatever, like the print on the back of my head behind my ear. It was like perfect, it's a circle. And then he tattooed it. And I have pictures from me in the mirror looking at it and the tattoo and something about the shape of my head, something. It was not a circle anymore. It was a little bit wonky. It was a no for me. I went that day with my mom and she got a something actually really similar to the lotus that I have on my arm that I'll show you after, but she got something kind of similar and while she was getting hers, I was like plotting what the hell to do with this circle behind my head that was not a circle. It was giving like an orange when you squish the orange, you know what I mean? Like it's not a perfect, it's not a perfect circle. I then ended up asking for him to fill it in with a yin yang. So that is where I'm at now. That circle behind my head, again, it was just a circle probably the size of a quarter, not painful. I'm talking like a, like a three max. Him going back in after to do the yin yang, it was giving like dentist noises like in my ear. It's one of those noises I'll probably hear in my head forever. <laughs> like it was so bad. The pain wasn't even as bad as the sound. A, a, a fucking tattoo gun right next to your ear, bye. Bye. The pain was not nearly as bad as I expected, but it was definitely still like a four or five because filling in the shading for the yin yang shit hurted. We are almost finished you guys and the last two tattoos I got in 2022 <sighs> they're just it's like I'm saving the best for last. I have wanted a thigh tattoo since high school. I just have <laughs> and it felt like the time I saved up the money. It wasn't that expensive like my guys my guy. At the end of summer this past year I went and got a thigh tattoo again I went to my signs and symbols book and I wanted the flower of life and that is exactly what I got. I've said on almost every tattoo is my favorite, but I think this is my favorite. It is fucking perfect. Line work, it's not actually perfect. Like doing a tattoo on your thigh, it's like trying to tattoo a trampoline. That's all I can say. That's my leg. I was like holding my leg down. It's still like zzz. It was so hard to stay still. Like my leg is literally jumping around. It literally looked like a fucking, it looked like a squirrel on a trampoline. This tattoo was probably a seven to a nine, depending on the spot. The longer we tattooed, the worse it got. Just horrible. I had to sit for probably a full hour, which is not bad at all compared to a lot of my friends. They've sat for fucking five hour sessions and it could not be me, <laughs> but definitely worth it. It was cheap comparatively. I don't want to name prices in here because I feel like if I start naming all the prices out loud and I add up how much money I've spent on tattoos, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna not even bother. I love this tattoo. It hurt like a fucking bitch, but it is so good. It is so good. I got it right at the end of summer, so that way I knew next year for summer would be perfectly healed. I wouldn't have to worry about the sunlight, which is huge for tattoos. I get most of my tattoos, if not all, in the off season of summer because getting them in the summer, I don't want to waste my summer inside waiting for my tattoo to heal. I don't want to have to keep a shirt on in the pool because I got my chest tattooed, you know what I mean? It's just not my vibe. It's just even better for the summer because then after it's fully healed, you get to come back the next summer and everyone's like, I forgot you fucking cut that bit. The lime work again, it's not perfect. It's also because my leg was Every time the needle would touch it, it would fly. I didn't know my leg could shake as much as it could until I got this tattoo. The most recent tattoo I got was in Pittsburgh when I went to visit my solo travel of 2022. And I got a Lotus because I love Mac Miller. Mac Miller had a giant Lotus on his neck and I've, that's my favorite of his tattoos. So I was like, I want my own. And it's very fitting to get into Pittsburgh. And honestly, my love for Mac Miller has withstood the stand of time with 
withstood <laughs> withstood the test of time and if i'm still this obsessed with mac miller like over four years since he passed away like it's just it's not gonna end not only is this for mac it's also for myself again i love flowers i figured this is the perfect arm to kind of put my travels on where whenever i go somewhere if i want to get a tattoo this is where it's going baby it's kind of got that floral theme going on i have my love from greece my love from berg i loved pittsburgh so this is so funny because when i went there I had scheduled the tattoo appointment a couple weeks prior to going, maybe a month, and I got there and I was planning on getting the tattoo and going straight to the airport, which is exactly what I did. So I checked out of my hotel and I went there with my luggage. So I rolled up, literally rolled up with a suitcase in my backpack and the woman behind the desk was just laughing. She was like, you're so spontaneous. You are here for like by yourself getting a tattoo, literally before you hop on a flight. I'm like. Yeah, and what about it? Like, I thought this was just casual. And she's making me a spectacle. Anyway, so this tattoo should not have hurt the way it hurt, but it hurt. It hurt more than any of my other tattoos besides my, like, my thigh tattoo of the Flower of Life. It hurt so fucking bad that I was embarrassed. I thought I was seasoned a little bit more than this. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Why am I in pain right now? Uh, granted, I was hungover, but alas, I got through. This was probably about a 45 minute sitting because the shading is just intense, baby. It is some dark darks, which is where it hurts the most, bitch. Like, you can do all the outlines and then he goes in with the dark darks and I'm like, fucking stop. This was probably like a seven or an eight pain. Like, I'm talking, I like kept, the guy just kept talking to me and I was like, keep talking. I'm gonna need you to distract me. <laughs> like, thank you. Um, and then after probably a half hour, he stopped talking to me and I was like, it's just me now. Sitting here in pain? Fuck you. It was so worth it. Again, pain scale is bad. And I can't explain why because it's on a good part of my arm. It's not like I was trying to get my like ribs tattooed. It was just so fucking painful. I think it's also because I didn't have enough like water in my system and I drank a coffee before and I drank a bottle of wine the night before. Like it's just a bad combination. But alas, I made it through. It healed great, which was my scariest part was because I had to hop on a plane afterwards and he was like, don't go fucking touching any part of the wrapping of this because you're gonna have the plane grossness. So I got home, showered at like fucking one in the morning and then got to take my wrap off. Totally worth it. I'm excited to get more. Like I said earlier, I'm definitely getting my cat tattooed on me because I had her for almost 16 years. Like that's my bitch. And if I get more when I get more cats and when they pass away. If I love them as much, I'm probably getting them tattooed. They can all be boys, you know? So that is all for me. I hope you enjoyed watching my little tattoo tour. I hope this inspired you to get tatted. I hope it didn't make you not want to get tatted. <laughs> but again, I am so excited to keep getting tattooed. It is just one of the things that makes me happy. Thank God I didn't get tattooed when I was underage because I mean this when I say I would have gotten skinny love lyrics in white ink on my arm. No shade if someone actually got that done because it's definitely all over Pinterest, please. I definitely would have like gotten a brand new tattoo and had to get it covered up, which is sad. <laughs> Choose your tattoos wisely. Don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive with the placement. Try and think of future you, what future you would enjoy, what future you will regret. When it comes to finger and hand and face and neck tattoos, just, I would say fuck them all, but I also want you to get rich. So if you can't get a job because of your tattoos, it's not your fault. It's because the system is fucked and their job is like, you're probably about to work for a fucking narc, but you gotta do what you gotta do in capitalism. If you can get that same tattoo somewhere else on your body, placement wise, do it because I want you to get tatted. <laughs> it's literally me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was probably my favorite video to record to date because I love watching YouTube videos and tattoo tours. I live for them. Snitchery was probably one of the first tattoo tours I fell in love with where I was like, I can't wait to get tats. And here I am now feeling like snitch. Obviously I don't have a full sleeve, but one of these days I just might. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Please comment your favorite tattoo of mine or something that you think I should get or something that you want to get. And I will see you in the next time.